I'm Ken Edwards. A lot of you know me as Words. I'm the current president of Starbase Studios. The video you're about to see is very poor quality and was done in a big hurry. We had a lot of reservations about releasing this video, but the time has come and we need to tell the story of why the studio has been out of business for 90 days. So, hope you enjoy it. Again, we're not going to point fingers at anyone or say anything about it. We're just going to tell the story of what happened. At the end, I've got a brief second to, to come back and ask for a favor. Thanks, and here's the video. Greetings. My name is Ken Edwards. Uh, this is a documentary of the damage that was done at the studio. Um, with me uh, is uh, Scott Johnson, one of the under owners. And nice enough to do the camera is Vance Major. So we just wanted to give this little video on what was damaged um, for historical purposes. So we're going to start in the briefing room. And you can see by looking at this particular table that the computer that normally sits on this side here is gone. Um, you will have to swing around here, Vance, but there's a corner piece that's uncovered here. It's just gone. Um, and there's another piece of the table that is missing as well down here. And, um, and there's a big, horrible scuff mark, which possibly could have been from um transporting or moving of the table i'm not really sure but we just wanted to make a note of it okay to facilitate the next piece that's missing uh if you look at the floor you may be able to distinguish that there's no carpet here the room once had carpet in it but it's just gone uh, in the background is Scott Johnson moving something, just so you know what it is. To remove the carpet from the floor here, uh, they had to disassemble parts of the um, briefing room to make that happen. So that it's actually disassembled and still disassembled, and it just happens to be kind of sitting together here. And we did, okay. Normally, we have a bunch uh, Burke chairs and you want to flip around here in a second a Burke chair looks like this and normally we had how many Scott total Burke chairs yeah okay so there's th there's three of these chairs here and there's at least seven to 11 missing from, you know, they were, they were all here in the briefing room. Okay, 14, all right. Be technically, I've been advised I made a technical error. But anyway, there's three chairs left of those 14. And they're the kind of the worst of the lot. They're the original Exeter chairs um that were, were given by josh and jim johnson so uh that's basically the briefing room other than the fact that uh we had a red alert up here and there was at least a com box on the wall i believe it somewhere here i don't recall exactly where it was but it it's it's gone it's just selectively missing so that's pretty much the briefing room. And, uh, and the briefing room was made from crowdfunded sources of which Mr. Vance Major was a major player in making that happen. We thank him again, but um, yeah. Let's go into the hallway here. So this is what we call the, the long corridor. And you can see that 
and it's hard to tell in this particular light, but there was plantons, which are pieces of sets. Okay, so on the wall in the corridor here, there used to be a planton, which is a piece of cosmetic wood that uh, uh, looks like piping or some kind of structure that's part of the Starship Enterprise. And of course it was used uh, in a lot of our fan films. And there's a big one that's missing here. And then there's more down the hall here. But this is called the Big Corridor, for lack of a better name right now. And there were big, tall... Um, it's a 10 foot. 10 foot. Uh, one inch. Or one, inch one foot in one diameter. Foot in diameter poles that were here that went up. And then one on this side in a matching spot. And those have... Uh, have vanished completely. We don't know where they are. Um, so this is what they call the T corridor, right? Mm -hmm. I got that right? The T corridor, and I don't know how good the light's going to get with us here, but the, the T corridor used to have some plantons, and uh, of course this is the most noticeable. I don't know if this was here, but okay. There's planton there, and then there was a comm box. Okay, that helps. Does that even show up? Okay. All right, down here, there was a comm box, which was uh, the box that Captain Kirk would always press, had the little red alert button on it or communicator thing, and it's just gone. I don't recall if this whole came it was, about it was for the light that's on the back of the oh, red the lights light. okay so that was part of that okay yeah. now one of the things that was damaged badly and is that it, every one of these silver strips that connects these two together um, have been selectively damaged in this corridor in other words somebody had to rip this out and to repair it requires a total disassembly of the wall or you have to flange something in, but um, there's five of those. There's five the of those corridor. particular strips along the wall in the T corridor. In the T corridor that have been vandalized, um, and <clears throat> okay, and and again the carpet is missing in this in the corridors, the T corridor and the other corridor. If I didn't mention that already. Now we'll step into the transporter room. The first obvious thing in the transporter room is the carpet. It's gone again. Um, it's, uh, we don't know where it went, but it's gone, okay? On this wall over here was a, a scanner unit, or is that the right word for it, Scott? Yes. Okay, that, that uh, that uh, sat here on the wall. It's been removed from the wall. The wall's got some damage from where it's been removed. And, uh, and it's not, um, you know, things are kind of ripped off there, it sort of looks like. Um, Does that help? Yeah, that might help. <clears throat> the holes for the electrical cable to pass through. Yeah. All right, as we move along in the transporter room, uh, this was been missing since for a while now and, and doesn't really have anything to do. But in the top of the transporter room is a big lip piece. This piece has never arrived here at the studio, even though it came from Oklahoma. It's still not here. And so it's not... Um, uh, on site, we don't know. We think we know where it is, but we're not 100% sure. On the transporter, um, is there anything else missing in here, Scott? Nope. Okay. Not in the chamber. Okay. The transporter uh, console itself. Yeah, okay, yes. Uh, right here was the big console that they used to uh, beam everyone out. That was a, um, um, a console that was manufactured by and is not here anymore. It's gone. It, it's it was just missing. Gifted to Starbase. It was gifted to Starbase, and um, 
during uh, Promon, uh, what's the con? Sorry, Promenadicon. Promenadicon. Vance, was that in 2015, September? Yeah. That was the first one, right? And that was gifted yeah. to the studio and Scott on that on that time frame. And it is just gone. We don't, you know. Uh, weirdly, uh, if we look above the door here, you'll see that there is one red alert piece that's still here. I believe that that was actually made by... I'm not sure, but it's not, I mean, this one's still here, but others are gone. All right, now we're gonna move on to the, to the sick bay. We're on the way to the sick bay, but on the way there, we decided to stop right here so you can see what's left of the crew quarters, which um, isn't here anymore. Uh, it was um, uh, made by uh, originally, uh, but it's just gone. Uh, it's not here anymore. Uh, no one ever said it was supposed to go away, but it's just not here anymore, except for this one piece that's still hooked to the ceiling. So let's keep on going to the sick bay here. As we turn the corner, you will see the back part of the sick bay. Um, there used to be a, um, a medicine cabinet that McCoy had, and it was right here where this big hole is that Vance is shooting through, and it's just gone. It's just, uh, it, and it was uh, paid for by multiple donations from different people, so it just happens to be all gone. Another thing that's missing is that and in the sick bay, especially in the episode uh, um, where no man has gone before, there was Gary Mitchell who was sick, sitting on the bed, punching, reading all about the computer, or all about the ship, and that piece is totally gone with exception of this. There's one of these left. Um, the rest of the arms on this and over here, even though it wasn't fully assembled, is just flat out gone. Um, one of the one of the things that's missing from here, it, it looks like this, and and Scott will remind us what the nickname was. Uh, the probe. The probe, and they and they come out of the wall. We managed to find at least these are the old ones. Those are the old ones. These are the old ones. So we've at least managed to find the old ones, but there were newer ones that were made and they are missing from here and on the wall over there. Also, uh, the pillow is gone. Yeah, and, and, and on, the, uh, on the bed here, there was a, uh, was it one pillow? Yeah. There was one pillow that matched this fabric and it's gone, we don't know where it is. Um, okay. Um, of course, in the sick bay, the carpet is actually still here at least the carpet for the section that's been rebuilt since we moved from Oklahoma. There's another section and another bio bed that happens to be right behind where Vance is right now that's not been put into place and reassembled because there's no carpet for that yet. And that is completely just missing. Um, I'm mean, sorry, not missing. It's just not assembled, but the carpet is here. Okay. Over here, over here is a piece of a bridge set from New York that was gifted to Scott Johnson and Starbase Studios from Mr. James Colley uh, from Ticonderoga, who has the uh, uh, Star Trek experience, our tours, tours, to official tour set tours up in there. It's a great thing. You should go see it. Uh, it, it, it melts your mind just to be on those sets. But this piece and two pieces down over here that you may or may not be able to see because of lighting. Um, uh, one of the pieces, and we believe it was sitting right here, uh, appears to be missing. Um, we didn't notice it at first and it didn't go into the police report uh, because we didn't realize it was missing. So, if we go over here 
And again, I don't know if the lighting is going to show up, but in all of these alcoves um, that go around the bridge all the way, except for a, a couple machines, all the computers have been selectively removed from here and uh, um, they're just gone. We don't know where what happened to them, but they're gone. Uh, one of the things that is still here, okay, is we have two more of the pieces from James Colley and the upper piece here that did survive and it is still here. Now we'll move on to the bridge. All right, now as we enter the bridge here, uh, a couple things you'll notice right off the bat. Uh, if you look around the bridge, you will see that the Burke chairs uh, of which there is an example of one over here in the corner uh, are just gone. They're not here at all. Um, except for one, which happens to be sitting right over here. And this is the one of the Exeter pieces. It does not swivel. It's just a fixed chair. That is the only one that's survived on the bridge. Uh, also, you notice right away that down on the floor here in the in the uh, lower part of the bridge where the captain and the helm navigation people sit, the carpet has been removed, and the captain's chair and the and the command aisle, which uh, these pieces that were sitting on the carpet look like they've been disassembled and um, not put back together the way they were assembled. Um, and uh, so we have some some damage there. If uh, once you get done filming that, if you want to step up here, uh, we will show an example of what was damaged here at uh, Scotty Station, or at, in the fan film community, this will be Menard Station. Um, you will see that we have these uh, com boxes which uh, this particular one came from Starship Exeter. Um, one of the problems with these are that this is on the wrong side. And so others were made to replace them to be more accurate. And there is some selective damage on at least this engineering set. And I don't think there's, I think the other ones are over on, <clears throat> yeah. The other ones are over here on, on communication, which appears to be intact and, and still here. Um, and then there was another one that used to be here at Spock Station, if you're talking about the Enterprise. And that one is missing and we don't have a replacement for it currently. Um, so that one's missing. Uh, we do have one here, obviously. Um, but they're, it's not the right style. They've been replaced with inferior models. Um, around the top of the bridge, uh, we call it the uppers, um, there are selective pictures that came from various fan films that have shot here. Um, some of them were Michael King uh, and other, uh, for his show, um, and a bunch of other people that may have, purchased them over the years. Uh, there are some here, but you'll notice that there just is a big gap here where they're just gone. And on the other side, all three are gone. The, uh, the one that was on the right, the smaller window on the right, that is actually a red alert indicator that was part of the red alert system and it's totally gone. It, probably came from Exeter, if I remember right. Um, but it is gone, and and uh, that pretty much is what is missing from the bridge. Um, there's some selective damage in paint uh, at several of the consoles uh, that could have been partially done because of the move. I'm not sure, but there are some deformed areas around on some of the stations that look like they've been messed with. Um, with exception of that, that pretty much covers 
uh, uh, what's missing in, in the shortest possible time we could tell it um, of what's missing from the bridge and, and from the sets here at Starbase. Um, hopefully we'll be able to resolve the issues and continue to be able to make films, fan films, and, and hopefully that will be uh, possible to continue on in the future. But I wanted to document it before the, the arrangement changed so that there's some kind of record of what the heck happened because this is not right. So I appreciate you taking the time to listen and uh, we just wanted to do this as an information video uh, just to document the fact that something happened that shouldn't probably have happened. So I thank you again for your time. Again, my name is Ken Edwards. Scott Johnson's here. Vance Major's here just to uh, do the camera work. And we appreciate all of them for being here today, too. Thanks a lot. And uh, see, ya. see you around the fan film. All right. Thank you. Well, you've seen the video, and we'll let you decide how you feel about what happened. Uh, we're glad to tell the story. I do have to report that the perpetrator or perpetrators that caused this particular damage and missing pieces have not been held accountable. So if you were a volunteer and participated in the creation of any of the sets that you've seen in this video, I would advise you if you want to assist us to get a hold of myself, Kent Edwards, or Scott Johnson offline, not on Facebook, but offline or in Messenger, that you can uh, perhaps provide us an affidavit uh, that, that of the time you spent volunteering or contributing money to any of those sets. With that being said, thanks for watching the video and uh, live long and prosper.